Hi guys, welcome back to the session. Today we will create a UiPath project to compare two Excel sheets and remove the matching or duplicate rows. So let's get started. So here I have this Excel file with me with the first sheet as master where I have the columns as employee code and some other columns. I have the next sheet of new joiners with the similar column names but different data. So here the requirement is to look up each of these employee codes from this new joiner sheet in the master sheet. And if there is a match, for example, this 111 is a match, this 111 employee code is present in both new joiner sheet and master sheet. So in case of match, we would like to remove the complete row from the new joiner sheet. And in case of no match, for example, this 301 and 302 employee code from new joiner sheet is not present in master sheet. In such case, we would like to keep these rows. So let's see how we can create this project in UiPath. Now one thing to notice here is that I'm taking similar column names in the new joiner sheet as of master sheet. But the solution which I'm going to create now in UiPath will work for any number of columns with any column name along with the mandatory column as employee code since I'm going to take this employee codes for the matching conditions. So let's see how we can create this project in UiPath. I'm going to remove this sheet. This was just to let you know the example and I'm going to compare this master sheet and new joiner sheet. So let's create this project in UiPath. So let's move to UiPath and let's move to activities tab. Now here I'm going to use first of all read range activity from the workbook. Let me add it here. This read range activity is going to read the data from the sheet and store them inside a data table. So for that we'll have to provide the workbook path of this file. So click on browse and I have already stored the file inside the day project folder. So let's select this file and here we'll have to provide the sheet name. So my first sheet name is master. So I have provided it here. We don't have to provide the cell range here since we wish to read the complete sheet. And the results I'm going to store inside a data table variable. So right click over here and click on create variable and let's give the name as master data table. And since this sheet contains headers, these all are the headers. That's why we will go with this checked option of add headers. Now I'm going to add another read range activity to read the next sheet, which is new joiner. So let's click on browse and select this employee data again. Let's give the sheet name as new joiner. This cell range is not required. So let's delete this one and I'm going to store the results inside another data table. So right click and create variable as new joiner data table. And since this sheet also contains headers, so let's go with this checked option. Now I'm going to copy this read range activity and I'm going to add it one more time. I will tell you why. So I'm going to read this new joiner sheet again. And this time I'm going to store it inside another data table. So right click and create variable as result data table. So why I have created this result data table? This result data table is going to store the results of the match conditions. We are not going to use the data tables, new joiner and master data table to store the results since these two data tables will be used for iterations and the lookups. That's why we are going to store our results inside a new data table that is result data table. So we are done with this read range activity. Now our next job is to look up for each of these employee codes inside this master data table. So for that, we'll have to loop through each of the rows from this new joiner. So for that, I'm going to add the for each row activity. So I'm going to use this for each row activity from the data table. So for each row in new joiner data table, for each row in new joiner data table, I want to look up for employee code. 
so for that i am going to use this lookup data table activity so add this activity here and first let's provide the lookup value the value which we want to look up so provide it here so the value is inside the current row and the column name is the employee code so let's copy this one and let's provide the employee code here and here we'll have to convert this into string so put a dot and select to string from here so this is the value which we want to look up and where we want to look up we want to look up in master data table in the column name employee code so we want to look up in master data table in the column name employee code so accordingly this lookup data table is going to look up for employee code from current row in the master data table in the column name employee code also this lookup data table returns the row index of the matched row in the master data table so right click over here to create a variable let's give the name as row index and if no match is found then this row index variable is going to store the value minus 1 which we are going to use as if condition so let me add the if condition here so let me add this if activity and here i am going to provide the condition as if row index is not equal to minus 1 if row index is not equal to minus 1 that means there is a match this lookup data table provided some row index value to this variable so if row index is not equal to minus 1 that means there is a match in and in such case we want to remove the row so here we'll have to apply a trick let me tell you what so if i go with for the data table package here so this is the data table package now here you see there is an option to remove data row which is used to remove the row from a data table which is our requirement but here if we use this remove data row activity is it's not going to work properly because if we remove a row from the data table the index of the data table gets changed so let me explain you with the help of an example so as of now the result data table holds this complete value with the row index for let's say 1 2 3 4 5 here let's say that if i delete this first row then the row index of other rows gets changed since the row index is getting changed the data won't be removed properly the row from this data table won't be removed properly so in such case we are not going to use this remove data row activity we will follow some other approach so let me tell you what we are going to follow so first of all i am going to clear this result data table which as of now holds the complete data from the new joiner sheet so for that i am going to use this clear data table activity and here let's provide the result data table so by this activity the entire data has been cleared from the result data table the result data table contains only the headers next step would be in the if condition if row index is not equal to minus 1 if this condition is true we do not need to do anything in the data table but if this condition is false that means no match is found in such case we are going to add data row in the data table so here in what data table we want to write we want to write in result data table and the value is going to be current row put a dot and then select the item array it's going to add the complete data from the current row inside the result data table so instead of removing the matching rows from the data table what we did we cleared the data table in the beginning and according to the condition if this condition is false that means no match is found then we are adding the row inside the result data table so our if condition is ready and this for each row activity is also ready at the end we are going to write the results in the sheet to show you the results 
so for that i am going to use the right range activity right range activity under the workbook so let's add it here now here we'll have to provide the workbook path again so let's select this workbook path and here we'll have to provide the sheet so i'm going to write in some another sheet so let's go with the sheet name as sheet 1 and we want to write start from a1 cell so let's provide a1 here and the data table i'm going to write is the result data table which also contains headers so let's check this option of add headers so our project is ready now first of all it's going to read the data from the sheets master and the new joiner and store them in the data tables accordingly then it also read the new joiner sheet again and stored it inside the result data table next we cleared the result data table to write the data in this data table from scratch then we looped through each of the rows in new joiner data table and looked up for the employee codes inside the master data table and this activity returned the row index for the matched row and in case the match row is not found this variable is going to hold the value minus one so accordingly we provided the if condition here if row index is not equal to minus one that means a match is found so if match is found then we do not require to do anything but if this condition is false that means match is not found in such case we are going to add the row we are going to add the row inside the result data table and once this for each row activity is over once this activity is over we write the results from the result data table inside our file so let's quickly run this project to see how it works i'm going to close this file let's save this and let's close this and let's quickly run this project to see how it works and my project is over i'm going to quickly move to this employee data file so this is our file with master and new joiner sheet and here you see one new sheet that is sheet one got added from our project which contains these two rows let's quickly check this new joiner sheet now here in this new joiner sheet this 111 112 and 117 are present inside this master sheet 2 111 then 112 and 117 since these three employee codes were present in the master sheet that's why it didn't got written inside this sheet 1 only these two rows which were not present inside this master sheet this these two rows were not a match since these two rows were not a match that's why these two rows got written inside this sheet one so that's all for this session guys in this way you can compare two excels and remove the rows wherever required wherever there is a match or you found the duplicate values according to the condition and i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did give it a like and share with your friends hit the bell button to get the updates on the latest videos if you have not subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel as well and i will see you soon in the next one Bye bye